What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to mine XMR on a Linux system, specifically Ubuntu. So right off the bat, you're going to want to do two things. You're going to want to download a Monero wallet. In this case, we're going to use my Monero and you're going to want to create a Monero wallet. And the next thing you're going to want to do is download XM rig. And that's the rig we're going to be used to mine X Monero in this video. And so once you have those downloaded, you're going to want to go to the downloads folder. And there you'll see the My Monero app image and the targz file for XMRig. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to make the My Monero wallet executable. So we're going to type in chmod plus x My Monero. And we're using tab completion. That's how I'm typing it out so fast. So now what we can do is we can execute the my monero applications by typing dot slash my monero and so you'll need to run through a setup process for creating a wallet and you'll actually be setting a password for the application itself but i think that you guys should you guys will be able to figure that out it's very simple you just follow the steps and so once you have your wallet made the main thing we're going to need is the wallet address so we're going to open it up to where we can see the wallet address. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to open up another terminal emulator. And we are going to go into the downloads folder. And this time, we are going to extract the XM rig miner. So tar xvzf xm rig. And if we go into the XMRig folder, you'll see that it's all here and you'll see the config.json file. We're going to want to remove that because we are going to use an online widget to set up another one of these for the XMRig. So rm-f config.json, my bad. And then what we're going to want to do is go to the configuration wizard of the xmrig.com website, xmrig.com slash wizard, and are going to want to set up a new configuration. This is where we're going to need to find a mining pool. I think that the best mining pool and the easiest and most direct one is xmrpool.eu. And we have the website pulled up here. So we're going to use this one. We don't need anything from this website. This website just helps us to see statistics on different mining pools and their hash rates. So we're going to add a pool. An XMR pool is very universal, and as you can see, it's here right now. So, And this is where we're going to need our wallet address. So we're going to open up our My Monero wallet and copy our wallet address and paste it right here. Click Add Pool. And in backends, we are CPU Mining. And this is where you can choose how much you want to donate. The average is about 5%. And this is the end result of our config.json file. So there's a couple of different ways we can go about this. You can download it, or you can just write your own. I think it's easier just to download it. So we're going to download the config.json file. And then we're going to open up our terminal emulator and go to the downloads directory and we are going to move the config.json file to xmrig and then when we go into the xmrig folder we see it's here now we are ready to start mining so all we need to do now is type sudo dot slash xmrig into your password and now the miner is starting up it might take it a little bit to start up. For me, it will definitely take longer because I'm recording my screen as I'm trying to mine. So I'm going to edit a lot of this out and I'm gonna get back to you guys once it's ready. Okay guys, so I'm back. And so now what I want to show you is how you can check and see if your machine is actually mining Monero to your Monero wallet. And the best way that you can do that is to copy your uh, address from your My Monero wallet. And you'll want to scroll down and you'll want to paste the wallet 
in here. And the website we're on is web.xmrpool.eu. And this is using your wallet address to see if it is connected to XMR pool. And as you can see, this one, it was connected. I did have to disconnect because I wasn't able to record my screen and run the miner at the same time. But it's accepted hashes was 30,000. The last share was six hours ago. And this should be what comes up. If nothing comes up and it says it's unable to find your wallet, give it a little bit of time and you'll be able to see your uh, Monero wallet and the data for it on this website. And so that's all, and that's how you can mine Monero and make sure that you're actually mining Monero and verify it on a Linux Ubuntu system. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all later.